Nadine Nabaki, thank you so much for joining us on Inside Picture House and thank you for your profoundly moving and beautiful film. Can you tell me something about the decision to immerse your crew into the world that you were portraying? For me, it was the most important thing to do, which, which is really get, be immersed in those situations and really tell the real story. It was a way for me to really understand what is the behind the scenes of those children that we see every day on the street. I followed this child when he really disappeared around the corner. So I was wondering, where does he go? Who is his family? What is his real life? What is his real struggle? Your camera is so honest and so unjudgmental. You don't come up with any solutions, but also you don't judge or blame. Yes, absolutely. It was very important that we don't judge or we don't blame because we tend to do it automatically. And I was the first one also to do it when I was during the, my research process. I used to see children in such bad circumstances that what you usually do is the first thing that comes to your mind is why are the parents doing this to them? But, and I used to wait for the mother because I want to talk to her, give her a piece of my mind. But usually, like 15 minutes into the conversation, everything, all the misconceptions and all the judgment that you have, you're shaken in every single position that you have. Because how can she give love if she's unloved? How can she give warmth if she, if she hasn't been able to feel warmth in a way or f to feel affection? It's, it's all, all part of one vicious circle that is not helping anyone. When we were shooting those scenes, knowing that this child is in the same situation, it gives you a lot of strength because you feel like you're capturing reality here. It's not fake, it's not make-believe. What's happening is real. It gives you so much strength, but at the same time, psychologically, it's very difficult to deal with it because you know that this is a very harsh reality that you're filming. Capernaum means chaos and miracles. Originally, it's the name of a biblical village that was cursed by Jesus, but that w this is where he made a lot of miracles too. It's this mixture of chaos and miracles that are, was really happening to us, really, not only in the film, but really while we were shooting in our real lives with every one of us. The film has been so lauded and so acclaimed. This must give you so much hope for your intention. Miracles started happening with the families that work on the film, like Zane. Zane and his family are now resettled in Norway. He's going to school for the first time in his life, which is amazing. And Jonas Treasure is also going to school. She's back in Kenya now. She's going to school. And in a way, yes, there's, there's been improvement. But this has to be, you know, has to go on. And really, people need to connect with it beyond the film. And it needs to start a conversation. And the conversation can lead to something. And this is the aim. I don't know if we will ever get there if we were able to actually apply some kind of change, but we're gonna try. <laughs>